What is going on, y'all? Y'all know who this is. Coming at you live with another amazing, epic adventure. This is Squids here. A.K.A. also, well, yeah. Will, A.K.A. Squids. Or well, you can call me Squidzy. Formerly known as Death Viper 567. But anyways, we're coming at you with another exciting game. I just picked it up. It was on sale on PlayStation. It's called Killer Frequency. So you've seen probably several YouTubers do it for me. Eddie VR because he is probably one of the greats the boys they are awesome but let's go ahead and begin because I've seen little bits and pieces of it but not all the way I've heard and I've heard really good things about it so let's go ahead and get started in it guys shall we let's see settings text panels on vibration 50 sound yeah everything's good Controls. It'll probably show me what to do with controls. New game. Oh, okay. Move with the left stick. Hold on. Just because I feel like this will work better with my scuff controller the fuck just fell oh here we go yeah it's at three all right <sighs> so and shit in there press r2 to pick up objects okay Let's see. You swap objects between hands with L1 and R1. Drop objects to circle, throw objects, triangle. L2 to place object. Okay. Go ahead and pick that up. Drop it in there. Ow. There we go. Awesome selves and triangles to throw. Man, this is pretty much a dank alley right here. I'd sleep on it. Nope, fuck this. Fuck that. Begin inspecting to rotate objects while inspecting. Press square to exit. So, press square to begin inspecting. Okay. Move that to inspect it. K fam F -air. And square. Boy. Okay. God dang. The sound on this. It's a little mouse trap. Hasn't been set off yet, so. Wow. Uh. All right, three to crouch. Okay. Okay, okay. I don't know why I need to crouch. Hold R2 and move in the direction indicated. That's pretty cool. Okay, okay. What? Ah, shit. Yo. Stay away from me, you boogoo voodoo bitch. Stay the fuck away. Nope, uh, yep, I'm dead. Or not? Yes? No? <gasps> oh! Okay then! <laughs> Pff, 
Oh, Jesus Christ. You, uh, you hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or, I don't know, uh, how? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I... Nah, man. I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But I mean, damn it. Does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something? <laughs> Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, Dang. ready to do the pre flight checks? Seriously? Do we have to do these checks every time? And hey. do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check Made the it. equipment for each show, and he pays us to call it a pre flight check. A but if you're check. sure you don't want to. Let's see. All right, fine. Let's yeah, get let's do the checks. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Uh, yeah. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Let's start with record playing. Man, that's two in a row. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. Alright, let's see. No. Uh, Forrest, right. you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. I just... The record box is on the left, and the record player is on the right. Pick a record and stick it on the turntable. Then hit play. Okay, how do you... Oh, I... Got it. Ooh, moonlight. Great. I like this. Now turn it off. All right. All right. Up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah. It's a riot. Great. And button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the Press producer Peggy. line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm. Is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Now, come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I labeled it for you. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. <laughs> turkey now, that is awesome. Are we almost done? <laughs> no. Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Ah, oh, dang I missed. Sound blaster. Sound blaster. Front of the desk to the right. That's this, right? There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Fuck out of here with that shit. The flow. Play a song, grab the sliders, and move them up and down. Go nuts. All right. Seems to be all working. We done? Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time? I uh, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Now, let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope. And don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, okay. Okay, first, like it. shut the music off. Okay, you're live in three, two... 189.16. 12 o'clock. Good morning, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16... 
the That's screen. Great. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm gonna play you a scream, then you call and guess that scream. We need to <laughs> guess why they're screaming. Yes. They stub their toe, saw, saw the finger, finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one. That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Peggy, what do you mean play the tape? I just have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I, I don't have the, the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest, and you're the one at the mic, so... Really, Peggy? You want, you want me to scream? You know this show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Ella. <laughs> Well, folks, mm -hmm. there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough? <laughs> Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Now it's time to go with The Flow. And this is their hit, Crying for Help. Oh, God, oh, yeah. Forrest. Man, I wish I had a webcam so y'all could see me cruising in here. Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Forrest. That's going to be the highlight of my week. Master oh, Robin. there's a call coming in. Time to turn the music off. Okay, okay. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream, caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. Heck My name yeah. is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Yes, <laughs> made it again. Welcome to the show, Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that scream? As a 911 operator, I bet you may have an educated guess. What? No! Look, I found a body oh, and shit. I need your help. <laughs> 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually okay. is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, oh, shit. I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Leslie, I'll level with you. I find this hard to believe, but I'll hear you out. Yeah, definitely exactly hear out. I mean, seriously. Going on? Sheriff Matthews is dead. Oh, what? shit. Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't How? get a response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and... I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... I don't, I don't understand. Where are the other officers? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or... or... <laughs> 
Whatever cops are supposed to do? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I the called you fuck? right after I found her. God. Okay, Wait. then. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> we have three. But Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't right, see yeah, anything on my way over. Sorry about that, y'all. I had to Leslie, stop here. You it need to like call do another cut. Or Quiet Ridge. Right. They need to send it's someone fine, over though. from their department. It's fine. I tried. That's but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls. Oh, to come yay. To I'm a radio talk show host, Leslie. I talk to idiot people about oh, their shit. idiot ideas. Wait. I'm not a 911 operator. Why me? You're I the picked the wrong one. With experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. <laughs> that is it's awesome. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the key into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's got to be another way in. Let's see. There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Uh, you know what? Check Sheriff, Sheriff Matthews. Matthews had a set of keys on him when he, you know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. I'm missing so many. One second. Oh, hey, oh, made it in. Sorry, Sorry, Sheriff. <laughs> Dude, close his eyes. Looks like Sheriff Matthews. Hey, made another deputy. one. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? Uh Yeah, that seemed to go okay. Maybe yeah, Leslie was right. It's okay. Maybe Keep we calm, can cool, and consistent. One business. That's the spirit, Forrest. I think you're right. Heck yeah. You know, I have to say, I, well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. Same. Come on, Martinez. There we go. Yay. I'm just gonna sit you in your office chair. We'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. Yeah, that's right. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. Yep, you that's the truth. Work together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as. I'm oh shit! What? What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? <laughs> what happened? Wait. What? No. No way. This can't... Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like... Whistling? Whistling? It can't be. Oh, my God. I can see him, but... He's 
dead, right? Right? Oh, shit. With mask and how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Yeah. He attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. Martinez has any that uh, will just reach into your pocket there, deputy, and yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. Nice, I nice. Come on now. I, I think nice we got one, her. Forrest. Good thinking. But Heck yeah. wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Yeah, because I mean... Martinez's gun is missing. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. Oh, the sheriff shit. must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. Might be it. Yeah, that's what I thought. I... Empty. Shit. It's empty. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Uh... There must be a weapon lockup in the station, right? Could you grab something At this point, there? time is earlier, crucial. As you might have guessed, it was locked. But maybe one of these keys I got earlier will help. Let me see. No. No. How does the sheriff not have no. the armory keys? Shit! None of the keys work. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. Cricket, Teddy Bear. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Mm. Which should I take? Taser. Taser. I mean, it's got to be the taser, right? Distance. Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then. Wait. Do you hear that? Yes, but just to make sure we mean the same thing, what do you hear? The knocking stopped. Everything's gone really quiet. Be careful. I don't like it. Me Be neither. careful. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Hey, I oh, dang it. Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean I on made it in trash can when I make it in the bucket. Yep. So there I literally made a bucket. You sure half about bucket. this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car, if I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Good luck, Leslie. That's one brave woman. God, I hope she makes hey, it through made this. Hey, made a you know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, no, they always wasn't. say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Yeah, true that. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. Hello? Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. We're here. Leslie. So I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Hit him with the taser! Come on! Yeah. Yes! Leslie, drive! Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. Heck yeah. 
Leslie, are you two okay? Did you get away, or... Forrest, that taser? Definitely the right call. Yes! I knew it'd be. Oh my god, I can't believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my god, yeah. But let me tell you, I prefer doing it from your side of the boat. <laughs> Leslie, I can understand. How long it's gonna take to get help? Gallows Creek is a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. We'll do our best to keep everyone safe until then. Thank you. Bucket. Just now, and Gallows Creek is going to Let's be see if okay. I can make another one. Dang. Anyway, once I'm in. Oh, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to start. Bucket. Forrest and Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon, but I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Tanfo. Take care, Leslie. Yeah. Be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. Bucket. Yes, a shocking turn of events. Folks, you That's what the issue I got. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're going to get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16 the screen. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. Come on, throw it, damn it. Let Storm Riders take you on a on rock, rock and roll, roll ride with, with the Glam Jam. jam. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Did she yes, really yes, it's gonna it take is. her four hours. Four? This gonna kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know. I just. Dear Jesus. Who is this whistling man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the fifties. Edward Marshall Mooney went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. He just did. Okay. What happened to him? Well, police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well, it was on this night actually. The police cornered him and he jumped into the river. His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is, he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. All right, copycat or ghost killer, I, I guess we'll do our best. That's the spirit. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Could be around 35? 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people. At best. Are you serious? We only have 35 Man, listeners. that sounds like my view count. Yeah. <laughs> I want to keep on making it higher. Gallows Come on, guys. Let's keep it going. Gallows Creek. I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah. Before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. Five thousand on the low end? I do you dream of that. Five million. Dang, didn't make it. Million? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. I just got it stuck. Up, I guess. Yeah, I guess we're gonna learn a lot about hey, perspective made it. tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Take it when you're ready. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. All right. 
Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16. Right, the scream. Is everything uh, 60. all right? <sighs> who the fuck? Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? Bruh. I've come back from the dead to kill again. No one's safe. <laughs> Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Oh, maybe you must make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice? To us? Not yet. I want to deal with them. Uh, we also want a mega gold. <sighs> okay, so cheese dusted pretzels and a mega gulp behind the gas station. You got it, whistling man. to say I won't actually be going out to the gas station to buy anything for these kids and none of you should be going out tonight either yep ain't that right out there anyway Heck yeah this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked let's see stabbing the night It's funky, it's groovy, it's stabbing the twilight by knife and easy. Peggy, the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Oh, the kids it. around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this That's twice in a row I made it in the it's corner. It's funny, but it's not. It's That's three. Not funny at all. And there's Three. no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That but Leslie. No, that. That's real. <sighs> Christ. Man, Let's why stay am I getting so high? We still have a show to do. We yeah, yeah, have yeah, another caller on the line. All right. Let's do this. <clears throat> Fuck that call. When you're ready, shut the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp. I need mm. the cops now. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? Oh, God. Listen, you've got to help me then. Well, no shit. Yeah, That's the reason they give them on me now. It's actually happening. Shit. I'm sorry, but you really picked a bad night to go out for a run. I know that now, baby. That's why I jazz ran back to my car. That's why I jazz ran back. Somewhere along the way. I never locked the door because I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I. He is outside your car. You better lock the fucking door. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's back. Oh. <laughs> Look, I don't know what I'm cars, but I gotta start this engine without the keys. And you're gonna have to help me. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I don't 
Oh, fuck. If it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. I'll call you back when I find it. No, yay. You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash. Your friendly neighborhood radio host. The Scream. The Scream. Savior. Sit tight while the My record God. spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Bag and stab it tonight. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? What? They look the same, though. I know. I just but they're like not even these. related. It's weird. I asked them about it once. Hey, I made they got it really buckets. sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Fuck. All right. Hey, woo. Bro, that landed somehow perfectly on there. All right, so down the hall. I'm not getting in there tonight. Nope, not getting in there. <laughs> the killer is her. That's the woman's bathroom. Men's. Red light is so creepy. So many locked doors, so few keys. And... Ah, oh my God, that is bright. Closing that for now. Let's see, um, I don't even know what the hell that says. Dear Bradley Carter, please enjoy a free sample of garlic bread. Don't care. We all agree that flavor profiles. Don't care. Grilling spree ad. I'll probably take that for later. Okay, okay. Uh, that looks like scribbles too. Don't care about that. Ah, here we are. Full colored nuts and bolts action. Truck. What the hell? Now this has to be important. Guard there for magazines. Sam right, gonna need something to read. Pray for me. Interesting. There's something here. Twins. So who borrowed the magazine? That's sticky notes. That's scribbles too. Dear Lord, three found. No. Nope. Creepy hour. Craft and work. Man, this is definitely something interesting. Zet wins, don't care. All these people at the desk are pretty friggin' neat. So, where the f fuck is it, huh? Oh, wait, I can move these. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe one. Nope. This looks useful. Fix our cars. Okay, okay, okay. I might have found it.
Ah, right. You find anything? Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. All right. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this, baby? Let's see, it says, use screwdriver as key. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. Unscrew the steering column. All right. Yep. Just turn. Just turn. One, two, one, two. Oh, God. How long are these screws? Okay. Covers off. Okay. There's a bunch of wires down here all paired up. And oh, God, my heart is pumping. Tell me exactly what you see. Okay, we can do this. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 6 5 7 6 8 9 4 3 2 0 so if there's zero at the end and the three doesn't come before six three doesn't come before or six comes after six shit if there's six anywhere and it doesn't start with five nope there is if there is a four before a three and there's seven in the number there is a seven. God damn it. Ah, oh, fuck. So. Let's see. If there is a four and a three and no seven in the number. There is. So. If there is six anyway and it doesn't start with five. There is zero at the end and three doesn't come before a six. So it's going to be the red and yellow. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. That All sounds right. about right. I think we it take is. The red and the yellow, and we twist and we turn. Oh, perfect. I also see a pink and purple wire. What next? And step four is now strip the purple wire. Do not touch the live wire. Let's see. Step four is now strip the purple wire. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Okay, okay. We strip and we brush and. <gasps> that is the body! Fantastic Heck yeah! Work. Oh, hell yeah. I just can't believe it, but we did it. Nice work, Forrest. I bet Sandra is positively jazzed that you answered her call. You bet I am, baby. Oh. We did it, Forrest. We sure did. Here comes another hit track Heck yeah. that we're ja excited to share with you. Heck and remember, yeah. if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Fuck Take it, it's it away, called the Scream first. Now, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck you.
Here we go. You're gonna love this next track. Yeah, baby. I still can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? Like Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about? What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? It's nothing personal, Peggy, but it's not Chicago. Or, hell, it's not really anywhere. Well, I like it here. People are polite. Dang it. And, uh, I thought I could make one before. Stab happy? Don't be awful, Forrest. <laughs> Come on, there must be something you like about this place. Mm. I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible after a while. Not terrible after a while? Hey. High praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for I think you're swell. Jeez. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night and that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. All right, yeah. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. All right, y'all, I'm probably gonna wrap it up right here. Caller on line one. Let me go ahead and save it. Yep. All right. While this is going, guys, I like to say thank y'all for watching. As always, God bless y'all. Every view counts. Like the video if you like to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be doing more.